is today's breakfast I got figs yesterday I was really craving figs but the problem is they always go bad so I need to diligently eat these this is probably the longest I've gone without having apples in the morning so I got these ones yesterday from Costco these are ambrosia apples which is my go-to and then black coffee outfit is very much brought to you by me trying to get the most out of my closet. I've been feeling inspired, no, more compelled to really try and get the most out of my closet. I think especially more recently I have been only reaching for the same few sweaters and things like that. I mean honestly because it's so cold that you just don't want to think about what you're wearing. So this is what I'm wearing today. I think pretty much everything on me except my jacket. I haven't really been wearing a lot recently. Actually, this turtleneck I still wear, uh, but not nearly as much as I used to when I first got it. This is from Oakenfort. It's not really my first instinct to reach for it, but when I do wear it, I'm like, why don't I wear this more often? I think I bought these last year. These are from Aritzia. And then this jacket I wear all the time. It's actually my mom's. I want to say it's over 30 years old. I think this is one of my most worn, if not my most worn jacket. Oh my gosh, this bag. This is the iconic, I don't even know what it's called anymore, but this is like the only bag that I wore from end of high school to like pretty much all throughout university. I saw it in my closet the other day and I was like, why don't I wear this? Because nobody wears it anymore. So I don't think I could ever get rid of this. And it's such a practical bag. It actually fits a lot more than you would think. I just finished work and I'm just waiting for Jacob to come home so that we can go to dinner with our friends. We're going to Ramanishin, which honestly I think is the best ramen place in Toronto. <laughs> already Saturday again. These earrings. These earrings are from Missouri. I wear these a lot when I don't really have much going on with my outfit because I feel like these dress up your look just a little bit. <laughs> I don't even think I need to introduce this cardigan anymore but obviously the one that I wear all the time from Suzanne. And then these pants. I think it was a couple weeks ago I purchased these. So everyone probably has a pair of Adidas track pants in their closet, um, myself included. I really tried to make those work, but if you like, if you do a side by side comparison with these track pants, they're very, very different. I promise. Like they're more straight legged. So that is how I justified this purchase, and I have no regrets whatsoever. I'll also, bag of the day. I think I'm being a little too ambitious. By wearing this trench coat, the weather is super gloomy. It was supposed to be like 13, sunny, not the case. But I already committed to this trench coat in my head, so I'm trying to hold off on getting my lashes done until we go on our honeymoon. So we have a few stragglers.
Yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah. I want to try the cream. cream so it's the two, right? Matcha drop and cream, cream drop. I just got home, but this was what I wore today. stuff. This dress is so good. Didn't get to do a proper OOTD, but I'm not wearing anything crazy, so. But I am wearing my Sambas. Oh, yeah. And this leather trench coat from Oak and Fort. You are currently placed on a very, very fancy schmancy gimbo. Crazy, I never thought I would have one of these. Bafu slash David. It feels weird calling you David, but uh, I know you watch my videos. So thank you so much. This gift is insane. Dun, dun, dun. What a reveal. <laughs> so if you recall, during Christmas, my sister broke our coffee table. Not her fault. 
not her fault. You can still see the crack right down the middle here. Um, basically, when I bought it from the sellers, it was through a vintage shop on Instagram. I really didn't expect them to do anything about it because I already bought it secondhand from them. But they so, so kindly picked it up, repaired it, and then dropped it off free of charge. So our coffee table is back. She is alive and thriving. But yeah, the space felt super empty without the coffee table. So I've missed her very, very much. So I feel like I kind of glazed over the fact that like obviously I've been showing a lot of new things in this vlog. Even though I said in my last few vlogs how I am challenging myself to a no buy month uh which started technically in like the middle of december which eventually extended into january and then a lot of february i'm like trying to justify my purchases so i did start making a list of all the clothes that i wanted to bring on our honeymoon uh we are there for 17 days so anyways i started planning out my outfits and I really have tried and I am still trying to work within the confines of my closet and not just buy things for the sake of having new clothes on our honeymoon. Uh, but there were a few key things that I wanted to add to my wardrobe, not just for the honeymoon. That's one thing that I will say. I don't buy things just for like one event or occasion. Even the things that I did buy, uh, those are all things that I'm going to be wearing for a long time. That is how I justify my purchases. <laughs> but anyways, that is the explanation. Nobody asked, but like... Ooh, look how steady. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but this jacket is dark brown. It's different from the black leather jacket that I always wear. It's kind of funny because I found this jacket while we were cleaning out the closets and it was my mother-in-law's. <laughs> I think from a really long time ago, I asked her if she still wanted it and she said no, so I took it. The fit is perfect. It's like something you would find in a thrift store. Um, I like how it's a little bit more snug than the black leather jacket that I have, that one. It's quite boxy, but this one's still boxy without being too overwhelming. I wish the color was more obviously brown. Um, even in person, you can't really tell. It's only in certain lighting. It's really only when I'm doing these OTD vlogs that I realize how often I wear jeans. These ones are super baggy, kind of crazy. I got these sent to me from Levi's. And this turtleneck, super old H&M turtleneck. See, look at me. And then a hat. I never really wear hats from Museum of Peace and Quiet. And then also, thanks to my mother-in-law, this bag. She had this for a long time and she gave this to me, I think two years ago. Um, would this be considered vintage now? Mm -hmm. 